In this uh, example, we will look at ambient air moving through a heater and uh, then a dryer. And then that exit air from the dryer will go through another heater and then again through another bed of food in a second dryer. Uh, so uh, there are four components, uh, two heaters and uh, two dryers. So we have ambient air at a dry bulb temperature of uh, 25 Celsius and relative humidity of 50% that is uh, conveyed through a heater and then it's heated to a dry bulb temperature of 90 Celsius. The heated air is then conveyed through a dryer that uh, contains a bed of moist pet food. The air exiting the dryer is at a dry bulb temperature of 70 Celsius it is then conveyed through another heater to heat it to a dry bulb temperature again of 90 Celsius. The heated air is then passed through a second bed of moist pet food and then the exit air from the second bed uh, in that second dryer leaves under saturated conditions. We want to clearly show the paths of air on a psychrometric chart beginning with the ambient air and leaving as under saturated conditions. And also uh, determine the amount of water removed in the first and the second dryer per kilogram of dry air. On a uh, psychrometric chart, first we identify the conditions for ambient air. Uh, we have dry bulb temperature of 25 Celsius and the relative humidity is 50%. So we see where the 50% relative humidity curve intersects with the 25 degrees C dry bulb temperature, that is point A. Now we know that as air moves through a heater, it will be represented by a horizontal line on the psychrometric chart. So we have from A to B, where point B will be located with a dry bulb temperature of 90 degrees C. That is where the air is leaving the heater. So we identify point B and then air will be going through a bed of moist pet food. So the process will be described as adiabatic saturation. That means the enthalpy remains constant and it is towards saturation. We know that the wet bulb temperature lines and the constant enthalpy lines coincide, so we can follow the wet bulb lines. So we identify point C. Uh, C is located by noting that the air leaves the dryer at 70 degrees C dry bulb temperature. So that helps us identify point C. Now the air exiting from the dryer is then conveyed through another heater where the temperature of the air is increased again to 90 degrees C. Now it will be represented by a horizontal line and we identify point D. So CD is the air going through the second heater. Again that air is conveyed through another bed of moist pet food and again, we follow the adiabatic saturation process represented by a constant wet bulb line originating from point D going all the way to saturation. We know that the saturation curve is the 100% relative humidity curve on psychrometric chart. So that helps us identify point E. So here we have the entire process A to B in the heater, B to C in the first dryer, C to D in the second heater and D to E in the second dryer. So now we can read the values of the moisture content or humidity ratios at various locations. So for point E, the humidity ratio is 41 grams of water per kilogram of dry air. For location D, the humidity ratio is 18 grams of water per kilogram of dry air. And for location B, 
the humidity ratio is 10 grams of water per kilogram of dry air. So our calculation then for the moisture removed in the first dryer is 18 minus 10. So 8 grams of water per kilogram of dry air will be removed in the first dryer. And for the second dryer, it will be 41 minus 18, which is 23 grams of water per kilogram of dry air. So those are the answers for this problem.